This is an update to our earlier Facebook privacy segments and covers some significant changes made to user settings on the Facebook platform during 2012. As one of the largest and most popular social networks on the web, Facebook is constantly modifying and enhancing its platform features for users. But when any platform introduces significant changes, as Facebook did with its new timeline feature and sharing settings in early 2012, it's probably wise to review your personal information and privacy settings to assess if and how they might be impacted. This is the first of our two segments on Facebook and focuses on accessing and managing your privacy across Facebook. For more information on the timeline and what you share on the platform, take a look at our second Facebook segment, Facebook Privacy Settings 2012 Part 2. Log into your Facebook account. Remember to use a secure, unidentifiable password or use this video as a useful prompt to change your password if you haven't done so in a while. To change your password, select Account Settings under the arrow pull-down menu top right. Otherwise, select Privacy Settings from the list to continue. At the top of the page, you can select the link to quickly access and edit items in your basic profile information and to whom it's visible, then save any changes when you're done. Back on the main privacy settings page, the next area offers quick defaults for any updates your post from Facebook apps that don't provide choices for who the update is visible to. Public and friends are pretty obvious. Choosing custom offers more granular choices, including any lists you might keep. The remaining privacy settings are the important ones, controlling how you connect with Facebook users and what access you have to you and your activity data. How you connect controls who can search for your timeline by name, who can look you up by the email or phone numbers you've provided in your profile information, who can send you friend requests, and who can send you instant messages on Facebook. The timeline and tagging section controls who can post and who can see what others post on your timeline, whether posts you've been tagged in appear on your own timeline by letting you review them beforehand and controls over other tagging activity by others that reference you. Settings under Ads, Apps and Websites allow you to monitor which other applications and services you've linked to your Facebook account, which elements of your Facebook information can be accessible on apps used by your friends, whether Facebook selected services used by you and your friends can present you with their recent activity, whether anyone doing a public search for you gets to see your timeline as a result, and what advertising is presented to you and your friends based on your activity whilst on Facebook. The Limit the Audience for Past Posts setting allows you to reset the default audience of all your past posts to only be visible to your friends. However, you can now edit any of your updates on Facebook even deleting them if necessary. Finally, the Blocked People and Apps allows you to be very selective in blocking specific people on Facebook. You can create a restricted list of friends that you may decide should only see your public updates. You can block someone by inputting their name or email, block invites from a friend who's an overly enthusiastic fan of apps, or invites from someone who shares too many events, or block contact from apps you may no longer be interested in. If you've finished your Facebook session on a shared or public computer, it's always good practice to log out.